Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to publish a GoDaddy website in 2024. So today, we're going to learn how to publish a GoDaddy website. Once you've built, of course, your site and happy with its content, it's time to make it live for everyone to see. So make sure to follow this guide to see how to publish or to know how to publish your GoDaddy website. So make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to log in into your godaddy account to do so go and open a browser here as an example for me i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want once you open it go to the url section type godaddy.com and hit the enter button once you do so, you'll find yourself on the home screen or main screen. If it's your first time, instead of your username here, you'll find the sign in option or sign up option to create an account if you don't have an account. So make sure to go and log in into your account if you have one. If you don't, go and create one. You can even use Facebook, Microsoft, and Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. So basically, once you're logged in into your account, like me, you will need to go and access your website's builder. As an example, if we go here to our websites and we go and click on websites builder, I'll just go here and click on start for free. Once I click on it, I'll be taken to this page. Here, I'll find all the websites that I have, that I created before. And of course, I'll be able to publish all of them whenever I want on the URL that they gave me. Of course, as you can see, those like one of my published websites. So as you can see, if you go here, published. So if you go even here, as an example, all my websites are published. So let me just wait for it. Yeah, as you can see, this one is published and all of those are published. Even if I click here on view all, as an example, you will see uh, all of them are published. How can you notice that they are published? Basically, but by the URL right here, if you find, if you can see URL, that means it's published on that specific URL. As an example, if I go to this exact URL, I'll be taken to this store right away. And of course, I'll be able to uh, do all of, uh, everything on it, as you can see. So, other than that, if you want to change the URL, you'll be able to do so, uh, like by owning a domain, first of all. As an example, you need to go and own a domain, and you can simply just transfer this website into your own domain. Or if you go here to edit websites, you'll be able to access the website's builder. And of course, you'll be basically able to click on this domain right here where you'll be able to see it, as we said before. And of course, you'll be able to even change the domain if you own one. So of course, my premium has ended because I like when you create a website and if you don't have a plan, your websites will be available for just, I guess, three to seven days, I guess. And then your websites will not be there anymore. So basically, you will need to go and access your website, the website that you want to publish. For me, since I have no websites that are not published yet, I'll just go and create a new one as an example. So if I go here to dashboard, as an example, or my products, as an example here, I'll just go and set up a free website. I'll just go and set up a website right away. As an example, I'll just do here something else. I'll not answer those questions. Of course, for you, make sure to answer those questions. Why? Because if you answer questions, they will like form or customize the website depending on the questions that you answered. So you don't have to basically create anything. Of course, you can start from blank if you want to. And example, just name it Omics Photo. Uh, if you want to start from blank, you'll be able to. But for me, I will not. I will just use this website builder, which will create the site for me. And of course, then I will be able to start reviewing it and making any uh, necessary like adjustments on it if I want to. For you as an example, you will need to go and access the website that you want to publish. And before publishing it, make sure to review your website thoroughly and check up as an example or check for any spelling or grammatical errors uh, like broken links or even missing images. Ensure that all the pages and links are complete and that your contact information is correct. And it's important to make a good first impression where your sites go live. So something went wrong. I'll just go here and refresh. <clears throat> and as an example, that's going to be my, my website here. Of course, I'll be able to add the pages that I want. If I want to add some pages, if I don't, I'll basic, basically be able just to 
uh, uncheck those and you will not be able to add them anymore of course i'll be able to add them after if i am not satisfied with it if you don't know no, like nothing about this you can take a tour to understand like a bit about the website builder for me i'm not going to of course you'll be able as an example to delete and create some stuff if you didn't like something as an example you'll be able to delete everything that you want update the photos uh, delete some section you'll be able to do everything maybe as an example if you didn't like this you'll be able to change this and etc and once you review your content of course how to review is basically click on preview right here and you'll be able to preview it and see if everything is working you'll be able to click on photos for example click on links and etc you can even review it on the pc and the phone you don't have you don't have of course to uh, forget about the phone users a lot of uh, a large number of people use uh, their phone to check up to website like that and etc so any it will even increase your seo ranking if you improve it for the phone also so once you check everything is working as intended all you need to do of course as you, as i said here you'll be able to add a custom domain if you own a domain instead of the domain here that they're giving you here so now to publish of course you'll be able even before like publishing you'll be able uh, also to configure some seo settings you can simply go to settings and uh, configure those uh, even like uh, add or change some sites profile uh, you can connect some analytics uh, analytic and tracking tools so you can have access to the data of your websites of course like google analytics like uh, metapixel and a lot of other stuff as an example like google adsense and etc so if you have a custom domain make sure to connect this by clicking here if you don't simply you uh, your website will be published here so all you need to do now is simply click on this publish uh, button and as you can see it's publishing just a moment so i'll have to wait until it's published and now it's live you can simply click on view site and start testing your live website and see if it's working as intended if it is all good for you everything should be working as you can see as intended and yeah that's gonna be it so there you have it you successfully published your godaddy website and your site is now live and ready for visitors so keep your content fresh and up to date to attract and engage with your audience thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video